Hey, how are you doing? My name is James Wilkinson and I am the founder of Albatross Digital Golf. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can reach thousands of local golfers on Facebook using Facebook advertising and put your offer or your promotion in front of these Facebook users and generate interest for your golf club. So first up, what you want to do is create a post. Now I've created one in advance. So in what you need to do is click on the write something and then add your copy in here. So this is my offer that I'm looking to promote on Facebook and target local golfers. So summer is here. Doesn't it just make you want to get out and play around the golf question mark? So you're asking a question to begin with. You're not going straight in with the sale. You can grab a round plus coffee plus bacon sandwich for just 25 pounds. Interested? Just call us on 1234 and quote Facebook to take us up on this incredible offer. So obviously this is a make-believe advert, but what you are seeing here is how you can track this offer. So basically when someone calls you up on, the, on your number and they either quote Facebook or you only have this offer for people on Facebook, that allows you to track the number of people that have taken you up on it. So now what you want to do, now you've got your offer and your copy already, is click on add photos or a video to your post and this will allow you to visualize your post and make it glossy and make people want to actually come and play your club. So insert your image and now you've got a beautiful image of your club also on the post and all you need to do is click publish. So here's your post and it's on your Facebook page, it's ready to go but that post is only going to be seen by the people that like your Facebook page unless you boost it. So boost is where you put your advertising budget into your post. So it's where you can actually get other Facebook users to see your posts rather than just the people that like your page. So if you click on boost post, this is where Facebook starts to show you how you can advertise. So you've got a number of options here to target and to set the budget and it, this shows you your reach, so the number of people in the area that you can target. So I'm going to start from the top. Now we don't want to add a button, there's no need unless you're going to direct traffic to a website. If you want to direct traffic to a website then I'd recommend choosing learn more and then adding a URL in there. But we're not going to do that, so we're going to have no button. Now this is where you can set the audience that you're looking to target. So in here you need to click on edit and then what this allows you to do is target local golfers to your golf club now if you want to target men then you'll click on men if you want to target on women you'll just click on women if you're just not fussy then just click on all and leave it on all um, if you want to target specific age ranges you can change this here so you can have people aged 40 to 65, you can have 18 to 65, you can have 65 plus, like that. And so that is now going to target people that are only 65 plus. I wouldn't recommend that unless you've got some sort of seniors competition or something. Um, let's target people aged 18 to 65 and you'll see here, when we do this, that your audience reach the potential reach changes all the time and what this is, does is it, it's narrowing down the people that you are targeting on Facebook so those Facebook users it is reducing the number the more targeted your Facebook ad becomes so at the minute I'm set to Nottingham English so what I want to do now is say I've got a golf club in Nottingham I want to add Nottingham in here so when you type in your location Usually, if it's, as long as it's a small town or a large town or something of a, a, a town probably of about 5,000 plus, Facebook should pick it up in the locations section. If not, find a local town to you and then find your golf club on the map and then just put the pin, drop the pin on your golf club that way. So we're now searching 40 kilometers around Nottingham. So traveling 40 kilometers, Generally, it's quite far to go to play around a golf. So let's change this by clicking on 40 there. And what this does is it allows you to change the distance. So what we'll do is we'll change this to 17. 
So now we're, we're focusing predominantly on Nottingham and the surrounding towns and villages to Nottingham. So we've still got 500,000 Facebook users in this audience. Um, so what we want to do next is we want to narrow that down even further because basically what that means is there's 500,000 Facebook users in this area. Now we don't want to target everyone on Facebook, obviously. We want to target people that are interested in golf. So if we click on include and then add demographics, then what if you type in PJ Tour, then you will see that this starts to narrow down even more. So now there is only 7,300 people on Facebook that are in this area that like the PGA Tour page. Then you've got the PGA European Tour. So then if you click on suggestions, what this does, and this is brilliant, this it just recommends other pages that Facebook users like. So the people that like European Tour are generally fans of Golf Magazine or Ryder Cup or US Open Golf. Or Golf Channel and you'll see here that this number starts to generally increase as you add more interests so PJ Championship Callaway Golf and they're all on there I'm not going to go through each one now if you want a shortcut on this you could just type in golf and this basically is everyone that Facebook believes is on Facebook that likes golf products golf brands golf pages anything that is golf related and so you add that and now you've got 45,000 people in this area so we're just gonna, I'm just gonna leave it on that one and test that and if it works then brilliant I've saved myself a lot of hassle I'll just go with the golf interest if not then I might want to remove that and keep doing the more niche golf pages like the golf brands but let's just go with the golf interests on top of that as well. So that's everyone that's interested in golf, that Facebook perceives interested in golf in that area around Nottingham. So now what I need to do is save this audience. So now my audience is saved and I'm back in the boost post section. And now I want to set my budget and duration. So in here, what you can do is you can set how much you're willing to spend on this advert. So say I want to spend £50 on it. Ignore the fact this is in US dollars, it's just the way I've set this ad account up. But if I want to add $50, you just add that in there. So the total budget I'm willing to spend is $50 on this advert, or £50 if you've got it in pounds. Now I'm going to run this advert for 14 days. Now Facebook here will say, the 6,500 to 17,000 people that I will reach in my audience from that £50 budget. So that will mean I will spend on average £3.57 a day. And this advert will run for 14 days until the 28th of July. So perfect. That's all good. Ignore trafficking conversions. That's uh, nothing that we need to go through to today. And then you just need to add a payment account in here. Mine's already set up so I won't add one but it's really simple to set up if you haven't got one. You just add your bank details in there. And now that's pretty much done. So everything is now in place and you're ready to click boost in the bottom right hand corner. So once you click boost your advert is ready to go and what you need to do then is start tracking it. So hopefully people will start calling you up and booking in around with you, taking you up on your offer and over the next 14 days, you should start to see new golfers through the door. Now, it's important to remember that if this doesn't working, then after you spent $20, say, or £20, and it isn't getting you any results, then the chances are people aren't interested in your offer, and you want to go back and rethink it so that you create an offer that people actually are interested in. Otherwise, you're just going to burn through your £50, and no one's really going to take you up on your offer. So let's click boost. I'm submitting your promotion. And now your advert is done. As it says here, it usually takes 15 minutes or so for the advert to actually go live. Over the next day, you want to keep tracking this advert, making sure people are actually commenting, liking the post. As I said, if it's not working after a day or two and you spent 15 to 20 dollars, 15 to 20 pounds on it, then perhaps you want to go back and rethink your offer 
to find something that people are actually willing to take you up on. So if you've run your advert for a few days and it isn't working and you want to shut it off, then what you need to do is click on the budget icon and then just go to Boost Post in the top left hand corner and then where it says active, just remove that and then it will say, are you, are you sure you want to pause your promotion? You click OK and that will pause your promotion. It means you don't waste any money. And finally, if your offer isn't working, if people aren't purchasing it, it's not generally Facebook's problem, it's that there's something wrong with the offer or the targeted audience or your budget or something to do with the advert. So I hope this helps. This works really well with a number of clubs that we've done it with. So if you come up with an incredible offer that people are willing to take you up on and you put a little bit of budget behind it, 50 pounds, test it out, run it for two weeks, and hopefully you'll see lots of new golfers through the door taking you up on your new green fee offer.